Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to get into the PDF annotator in Obsidian. So if you're dealing with any type of PDFs, you want to be able to highlight and leave notes in them directly in Obsidian, we'll get into a plugin that will give you that functionality. Before we get into the video, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you want to do even more than that, you can go ahead and buy me a coffee. Links are down in the description. Okay, so with the formalities out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so the first thing first, let's go ahead and drag in a PDF. I'm going to first open it up. We'll see this is a simple PDF. There's no images or anything in it. Um, but I did add a couple notes in it um, using my native my PDF editor on my Mac. So I do have a note in here and I have some highlights on a different page as well. And we'll see how we can actually you know see these things once we move this into Obsidian. Go ahead and close. Let's go ahead and drag it in. And you can see here we saw the little plus sign when I went to drag it in. If we drop it you'll notice it does not show up in the Explorer section here. And that is because when you drag in your PDF or your file, you have to actually select a folder. So since there's no folder down here and there's no folder selected, you can see how it gets highlighted. When I hover over, I can drop it and then it shows up in the Explorer window now. We can go ahead and click on it. And one good note here with the Obsidian app is they do put in the little PDF identifier on the file. So that's pretty good for identifying for identifying the different file types. Now, right away, we can see that the note that I had in the, you know, the PDF when I opened it up natively in a PDF editor, um, we can see that note shows up here in Obsidian. And this is without any plugin installed on in Obsidian uh, to actually view these notes. We can also see the highlights in the PDF as well. And we can expand things out. Maybe we'll go ahead and increase the zoom here so we can see that PDF a little bit better. Let me, all right. So let's go ahead and install the plugin we're going to go ahead and browse and the plugin is called annotator. So it's the second one here in the list, just annotator. We're going to go ahead and install and then enable the plugin just as we would any other plugin. Let's go into the plugin options here. We have annotator and in here we have a few different settings that you can configure. I typically stick with the default, but we'll look at the, the actual dark mode here in a bit. Okay, so now that we have the plugin enabled, there's a few things that we have to do. We cannot use that plugin directly on the PDF. We're gonna have to create an actual file in order to start doing the annotations that this plugin enables. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that markdown file. We'll go ahead and close the PDF. Let's do a new file here and we'll just label it annotation lab. So the first thing that we need to do or the actual thing we need to do to this file is add in some metadata to the file. And we're gonna do this by adding the, and I'm gonna copy and paste this, but we use the three dots and space and then three other dots. And you just put in annotation target. I'll go ahead and paste that in here. This is what you'll need. And the annotation target needs to point to the actual PDF. So I can drag that over here on that line and remove the, the link notation there. And we should, this should be enough to work for us. So now that I went and I've added this notation, we can see here if I click the, the more options, I have this annotate on the file or as an option. I can go ahead and click that and we can see now that the annotation 
window for that plugin now shows up. Now you, there is a hot key that you can set up to switch between these modes um, to where it make a little bit quicker than hitting the menu. So now that we're in the annotation mode for this plugin, we can easily come in here. We can select something. Let's go ahead and select some text here in the uh, file. And now we get this little uh, annotate and highlight buttons here once we select something. Let's go ahead and we'll do annotate. We'll type something in. And this will be it. Now you can do multi-line annotations. They have nice little formatting options that you can put in there as well. And then you can go ahead and post this. And we see the annotation here. You can also set up a page annotation and those will show up for, you know, the individual pages that you put there. But now that we have the annotation, let's say we did scroll to the other page. We can easily select on there and it will take us to where that annotation is. We can go in and edit. You can delete it and you can also re uh, they have a reply option here. If someone else left a annotation um, or you just want to add additional notes to the annotation that you already did. Now, if we go in and edit this particular annotation that we have in here, we can go ahead and put a tag in there. And I will do like my annotate as a tag in there. I'll save it. And if we go out of this file, we go into search and I do a hashtag my annotate. We can see that that shows up in the search now. So if I click on it, it opens up the annotation mode for this PDF and the annotations are shown on the side. This is pretty nice. You can see if we remove the tag, we save it, that this does not work. So we can see it already does not show up in the, in the search field because that tag is gone. So let's go ahead and create one more. I'll create another annotation or an actual highlight down here as a separate item. You can click the sort list here and you can sort through the different annotations. And if you have a lot of annotations on your PDF, you can actually go in and you can do a search. So one key thing to note about this annotation plugin is that all the annotations that you're doing within this plugin can only be viewed within the plugin. So you will not be able to save these or open up this PDF in another PDF editor or viewer and see the annotations that were done with this plugin. I think that's the only downside with um, this particular plugin. I wish it would let you export the, the PDF and maybe let me try actually doing an export and we can see here there is no export as PDF. And if we put it in the 3D mode, if we did an export, it would just um, export the, the code that we have here. You can go ahead and show that. Go ahead and export it. Exporting that to my downloads. And if we click on the file here or scroll up, so we can see we do have the annotations themselves and where they were annotated, but we don't have the, the PDF view with the annotations on the side. So you can get just the annotations if that's what you're looking for, but you won't get the original PDF with the annotations and the highlights embedded in the PDF itself so that it uh, can be transferred to other people and they can actually see those annotations and uh, remove, delete, or edit those annotations or highlights. And as I mentioned, let's go ahead and we can close this one out. If I open up the PDF itself, we can see that there are no, none of the additional annotations that were done in the plugin. So going to the file directly, the PDF directly, you will get the original how it was 
before you did any annotations with the plugin. A couple other things to note with the plugin is that you do have these two little icons here. One is to go ahead and hide all the annotations that were done using the plugin. So if I unhide, you can see how this is shows up. And if I hide it, it disappears. And the other button here below this uh, little eye icon, you see there's a little folded page. This is so you can add in page notes. So if I go ahead and put a page, click the button, I can go ahead and put a page one note. And we can go ahead and post that. And if I go down to page two and do a page two note. Now I have these two page notes. One thing that I think could be added here is that when you click on these page notes, they don't take you to the actual page. So it does not act the same way as the annotation. So if I click on the annotation, it takes me to the annotation and where it is in the actual document. But if I click on the page note, you can see that it does not take me anywhere. Uh, basically it's not a link. One more small thing that has that is added here on this plugin is you can see these little numbers with an arrow or arrow with a number on it. This here is an indicator that points that there is an actual annotation on this page or at this location. Um, you can actually hover over it and it says select nearby annotation. Uh, you can click on that there and it will go ahead and filter out that specific annotation. And if you scroll down throughout the document, you'll notice that you'll see these um, along the side here where you can go ahead and point to those and it will let you focus in on what those annotations are and where they are. And as I mentioned, it does filter these particular annotations on the side here. And you can go ahead and X out of that there so you can see all your filters or all of your annotations without any filters on the uh, the view here. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this plugin. Um, it is it does have some nice features into it. The biggest drawback for me is that I cannot embed all of the uh, annotations and highlights into the PDF itself. I can only see those if I'm using um, Obsidian in this plugin. So it, it is a bit limiting to where I cannot um, basically make this portable document format portable with everything that um, you're, you're adding to the document when you're leveraging this particular PDF because it does not put it into the, the PDF format itself. So in that sense, I think it does take away from the portability of the document and the information that you're adding to the document. But if you're basically a, you know, a solo person who you're only going to leverage the information and the annotations and the highlights that you're adding to this document using this particular plugin, then that should be a non-issue for you. And outside of that one particular aspect of the plugin, I think it's pretty, pretty nice plugin. You can have all of your annotations and highlights for the PDF all in one place in Obsidian itself. And it does save this stuff in a, in, in an actual markdown file. You can, you have the tagging where you can tag and you can search for these different information and it will guide you towards, you know, even the annotations that are pointing to a PDF. So it's a good way if you're leveraging Obsidian to be that information store. Once you tag it and you put some annotations using this plugin, you can still use the search features within Obsidian to find that information. All right, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you like the information, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.